A big hello and a warm welcome to all of you amazing and beautiful people out there to my channel, the Twin Flame Union. And in this channeling session, we would be getting to know about Divine Masculine's prayer to the Source. Yes, he is praying to the Source to give him spiritual powers, to give him spiritual strength, spiritual knowledge, spiritual courage. And he has never made this type of a prayer before. It's because he has finally understood certain things. But this is also a result of the polarity, the divine feminine's polarity, where she is asking the source to give her material powers. I know this sounds like a really different type of channeling session. So what are we waiting for? Let's get started now the person who actually created a lot of frustration and curiosity in the mind of divine masculine towards spirituality and towards gifts and intuition was is divine feminine because she's the one who was always in his face with these talks which were spiritual or holistic or organic or natural and she would say things like he would ask her or say she, she would just say that you know you're my twin flame i'm just giving you an example guys i know it will resonate with some of you it will really resonate with some of you but i'm still giving an example i'm not uh, saying specifically who because please understand this is a public channeling it's not a private channeling in a private channeling i can give you I have given, and it's not, nothing that I'm going to take credit for, things that you may not have even told another person, but they will be revealed in a tarot session or in an intuitive reading session. But even in public channelings, a lot of people have written to me that, you know, this is my story. This is exactly what I said to this person. So that's why you should keep listening to channelings because... I try to cover as many people in different locations as I can who have same energies and same feelings. Maybe the words are a bit different. Maybe the language is different, but the emotion, the feeling is same. So I know. And this example is coming to my mind because I can see an example or I can see a conversation where the divine feminine told the divine masculine that you are my twin flame. And he said, twin flame, what is a twin flame? Or she said, you are the one I will spend the rest of my life with. And he was like, oh, yeah, right. How do you know that? And it was the answer that shocked him more. She said, it's my sixth sense. Or she said, it's my intuition. Or she said, the tarot cards told me. Or she said, the reading told me. Or she said, I saw it in the dream. It's something which, he's, which his logical, analytical, statistical mind could never fathom at that point in time. But the confidence that she had in her while she said it, like, I saw you in my dream 10 years back, so I know this is the truth. And he was like, you saw me in your dream 10 years back? Yeah, I saw you in my dream 10 years back. Okay, so what did you see? Nothing, I just saw you, it was you, and I knew and now when I'm meeting you after 10 years, I just know it's you. And he's like, oh, really? Also understand that divine masculines had a very strong ego. And that's the reason why he attracts you or the divine feminine, whosoever is the respective divine feminine, because of the same opposite polarity where she lacks self-respect. So when this ego versus self-respect clash happens, he also wants to be like, okay, so she's so sure about her dream or about her tarot cards or about her intuition or about her sixth sense, about her vision. It can be many things, okay? It could be an angel met her and told her about this or she just saw it somewhere, but she is so sure about it. And you know what? She sounds very stupid. There's no such thing as intuition or, you know, seeing something in the dream or, or doing this or doing that. This is all bullshit. And I'm going to prove her wrong because he has that ego with her. As I said, he has been with many girls. He's had flings or whatever, but this is the only person who he wants to block. 
he could have blocked someone who he had a one night stand with and never wants to see her again but he has not blocked her he has blocked her because i mean the df because she is you know like touching places or she's triggering him in places which really hurt him so i have told you that in many people's cases for divine feminines the lower three chakras are blocked that's why when i do the complete chakra healing sessions and i do the bottom three chakras for some girls they start feeling so amazing after that they are like wow you know this is the best thing that has happened to me because for so many years so many of those places were blocked but we need to do the complete session because you know when you start feeling good suddenly you know you have released so many blocks and you start feeling good you for some days you are enjoying that phase you know because so much baggage has got released so much has gone away that the divine feminine goes like yeah i'm really loving this so she stops doing the work sometimes it happens this work she will start doing it again i know that because the unreleased baggage is still there some of it is still there so we that's why i suggest people to do at least two two sets of chakra healing uh, complete course which will cover everything but to be honest the divine masculines in his case it is the it's the top three chakras that are blocked that need healing so that the energy can flow and divine feminine the bottom three chakras are blocked and obviously it needs a good amount of work and that that means there will be suffering and suffering should not be something that you should now by now you should know that you should not be scared of because every time you're going to suffer something will release and something will happen and it's not eventually a bad thing now he because of his ego wants to take revenge from her or he simply wants to punish her for being so confident about their relationship which he wasn't sure at that time so he triggers he basically she triggers his intuitive chakras the third eye chakra the heart chakra the the crown chakra even the throat, throat chakra so it's not actually um for top 3 it's top 4 chakras that she triggers for him and he ended up triggering the lower three chakras which are sacral chakra the root chakra and the solar plexus because when he dumps her or when he blocks her it really hits her confidence then it hits her sexuality her nature like the beauty and everything and it also hits the root chakra which is the materialistic world because he most divine masculines are good with materialistic things so she feels very bad that you know oh maybe he is rich or he is he has some status or he has some money or he has some cars or he wears these type of clothes or he travels or you know like the way he takes the car mix out for parties or even if he doesn't have the car mix like i mean they buy gifts for her they buy businesses for her they invest in the money it really hurts her right down there and i say down there i don't mean the vagina i mean the root chakra because down there means your base your foundation okay so not all conversations are meant but of course the sacral chakra is one of the most important places that needs to be healed because only then she can become a pure divine feminine you know before that her gestures and mannerisms are too masculine so we don't want the divine feminine to become a man because the masculine role will be played by him so she wants to make money let me tell you this this thing guys and when i say making money you don't have you if you're making money from something that you don't even love for the last 10 20 years that also means that your root chakra is blocked because anyone can make money even beggars make money it's not about making money it's about making money with things you love and having the feeling of financial freedom and abundance okay you if you're working too hard if you don't have time for yourself and even if you see you're very busy but you're so busy because you love what you're doing then you're really abundant and lakshmi and vishnu basically vishnu and lakshmi are also divine masculine and feminine but they are they are complete they are completely abundant they are also shiva shakti shiv shakti i always talk about shiv shakti but today in this channeling i'm going to talk about vishnu and lakshmi because vishnu is the goddess of abundance beauty femininity 
and even power because there is a certain power that you know people who are rich and wealthy have which the divine feminine always lacked so in this channeling she is actually directly asking the universe to give her all the materialistic wealth that she needs because she's tired of living like a poor person she does not want to be a poor person anymore she wants the big house she wants the good clothes but again and she wants the bank balance but again understand it's not sansaric it's not from the materialistic world point of view it's from the abundance point of view which means that she might she might be living in a house which is made of uh you know how the houses in villages are but it could be a big house or it could be a piece of land that she owns she owns a huge piece of land now which she's always always wanted to own she's not running after a fancy phone a branded phone because if she's doing branded phone branded clothes branded this then she's not in the abundance stream let me tell you this materialistic things that she's asking for this also she's asking for a certain cause it's for her mission because she's tired of feeling that she's useless or she's good for nothing or she's not making enough there's always a crunch she wants to buy something it is so small but yet she has to wait for many days or many months that that part was there but it's the dm that triggers is the most because he has that air of wealthiness so that wealthiness triggers her that if he can do it why can't i do it what is lacking in me so nevertheless she basically talks to source and she says that source you are the creator of everything <clears throat> you please accept my request okay you know everything i want you know you know uh, everything i need and i'm still asking you and this is not like begging it's like requesting it's literally as you ask and you shall receive that they talk about in law of attraction now i know a lot of spiritual people avoid law of attraction because law of attraction is all about you know talking about your desire but that's wrong understanding of law of attraction law of attraction means that whatever you think you attract that so if you're going to think about abundance and not being dependent and being independent and having whatever you need you're not greedy you're not like running for things you're content but you're also not begging for anything you're not chasing anything you're not running anything and you are in the middle so she is saying that look you know enough in you know, is enough god i have lived like this though i have the talent or the beauty or the business acumen like she's she can be a really smart business woman and a lot of women are really good business women because i know in a lot of places where you know uh, where the matriarchy is strong like i went to goa once i lived there for a few months and i do plan to uh, actually start a shack over there which will be uh, for twin flame people i know it sounds like a great idea i want to make a shack where a lot of twin flame people would come twin flame couples could come or those people could come who are maybe in separation and they need help or they need support so they can just you know take up a place there they can take up a you know corner over there they can just stay there live there for few months do their research work you know they they can get readings they can get therapies they can even have personal face to face or they can just simply go and just look at the sun look you know they can get things that are absolutely free and you know available in nature i mean you can learn whatever way but i wanted to do something like that a uh, long time back it would be more open for people who are on spiritual ascension journey so i also wanted people to get their pets or at that type of a thing i was doing and i'm still working on that by the way guys so what i saw in goa was that the women are very independent they are very powerful they are decision makers and they are the ones who run the business whatever is required in the business acumen they run everything they run the show but when it comes to the masculine energy the muscle power you know getting all the work done with your hand with your labor you know like all the things like men do you know meetings and doing this and bringing this and carrying heavy stuff and all of that would be done by the guys so there was a lady who used to cook and the man would run the shop so most businesses were like then like that in goa another place i saw this was pokhara 
and also Kathmandu and even many other parts of Nepal I saw this uh, even in my own hometown and again I want to I want to do a place for twin flamers over there also and that would be completely I hope connected to farming and meditation and uh, just living in the jungles or something like that which I cannot tell you everything right now but I will tell you later so <laughs> the thing is that I see a lot of women over there who are running the shops, who are running the business. So when you when you look at it, it would come across like the women are doing all the work. But no, it's basically the women have opened the businesses which they want to do, which they love. But the men are right around the corner. They're just one call away or one shout away because they do all the managing part like the masculine energy is by the men and the women are just managing it because they are the ones who are talking to the customers the clients doing the business so now basically she got completely irked by his materialistic powerless and she was like you know what i don't need him because uh, for some of you, I'm being shown that the Divine Masculine promised a lot of things. Like he said that, hey, baby, we will do a business together or we'll open a restaurant together or we'll start something like, say, a college together or a training school together or maybe a, a, a food joint together or a clothing, something, you know. Uh, or maybe they discussed about the mission work together. So he said that we'll buy a piece of land or we'll do a mission work here. So he got her really excited. So he said that I'll put in the money because money is the only thing that most divine feminines lack. This is the reason why I have to come up with a YouTube channel because I know not everyone can afford my therapy. Not everyone can afford the reading. And this is a very sad part actually. I feel very bad about this because I want all the divine feminines to be completely abundant and completely chilled out and do whatever they want to do, you know. So somehow he becomes like that person who offers her or, or promises her and then he backs out and the worst thing is that either he chooses the karmic for it or he chooses a karmic pattern like maybe he starts it with a business uh, associate or like a best friend or maybe a family member or something like that so in any case whether it's a girlfriend or whether it's a partner or whether it's a you know friend like a male platonic friend but he did promise to her and she was like yeah he's my guy he's gonna do it so then she felt very bad very cheated and then she thought after getting triggered that why do i need him or why do i need anyone to invest in my business i can get my investments i can make my own money i don't have to be a beggar or i don't have to be a chaser all the time no i'm done with that i will figure it out and when you have that type of positive energy then only you can connect with the source because when you'll face trouble you will go to source if you are intelligent if you're smart if you're a genius and if you're a prodigy or if you are a twin flame divine feminine you could do that but of course realization is very important and that's why i'm doing this channeling because i want all of you all to have that realization huh so this also creates a mirror effect in the divine masculine who now is very irritated or very triggered by her intuition powers by her gifts by her knowledge because after a few months of separation <clears throat> earlier he was very confident that i'm going to teach her a lesson and i'm going to punish her but what happens to him is the complete opposite he starts getting punished he starts suffering he starts missing her and he starts questioning his own actions he starts thinking that why did i run away why did i do this why did i do that i should not fought with her and the worst thing is he realizes that even though he fought with her or they fought with one another which he was blaming on her he realizes that it was his mistake so it's not easy for an egotistical person to know that it was his mistake and then to live through that guilt and shame and regret but he only does that he only wants to know that because he realizes that she was right about the love about the relationship about the intensity and about being a twin flame divine masculine and feminine pair you know in whatever language she said it she could have said you are my shiva and i'm your shakti or you are my krishna i'm your radha you are my vishnu or i'm your lakshmi i'm just giving an example or you are my you know my yin and i'm your yang it's just as i said different people said different things to each other somebody as i said even said you are my twin flame union uh, you're my twin flame and he was like what is twin flame i don't even know what is twin flame 
so so on and so forth you know someone might have even said that i'm the lock and you're the key so you figure it out whatever you said but you said it with the complete confidence now the divine feminine also felt bad because some of you also had uh, karmic relationships after you got into separation so the karmic also because even the divine feminine after chasing and after getting heartbroken she also kind of quit the journey she also said that no i don't want to do it but the karmic patterns and the or the karmic relationship also taught her the same thing that she should not do this but she should also figure out a way where she is not labeled as a chaser because it feels really bad to be always labeled as a chaser like someone you know who's chasing who's begging for attention you don't want to do that right so that's where the change happens so this triggering this triggering one another leads to the divine masculine praying to universe that please give me spiritual energy please give me spiritual power give me also intuition power i also want to know what made her so confident at 5 in the morning or 3 in the night she called me up and she said hey do you know something we are twin flame divine masculine divine feminine and he is like what it's 3 in the night and she wants me to talk about something that i've never even heard okay can you please simplify what do you mean it means that we are here on planet earth for one another you are the other half of my soul and i'm the other half of your soul or we are the same soul we are mirroring each other and he has no idea what she's saying but as i said that type of confidence triggered him just the way his confidence his wealth consciousness has bottom three chakras which were uh, in good shape triggered her but the problem is that both of them don't have correct energy flow so the energy is getting blocked and stagnant and thus anything that becomes stagnant and blocked it starts creating problems it start creating disease or some kind of issue some kind of stinkiness some kind of you know hollowness darkness bad energy basically blocked energy so both of them are going to understand but the prayer is very important because she says give me whatever you can materialistically i want to be independent god i am done 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 i want a big house i want a big this i want but she could be doing it purely for her mission it's not because it's i'll tell you why she's doing it because she's tired of being dependent on other people she's tired of always feeling bad about not able to buy simple small things she's tired of waiting so now she's like i'll do it myself some of you are reading the law of attraction some of you are reading surrendering some of you are here to listen to channelings some of you are doing all of you are are doing something or the other why because you are done being dependent so this is where the channeling ends yes this channeling doesn't have part 2 part 3 but i want to say that the divine masculine is just mirroring this type of polarity and he is really working hard on his top four chakras i would say heart chakra to an extent it got touched by her because it was already open when she met him both of them had expanded the heart chakra that's how they met let me tell you that that's how they met in the physical world in the first place so both of them know that this person is really special for me i really love this person this person is something else boy oh boy this person is mine and i'm i'm it's like i'm yours you're mine that type of a feeling so thank you so much one love and peace out